guys uh, welcome back to my youtube channel the zhp youtube channel so today guys i'm going to show you how you can solve the problem of google asm or adsense showing error message just like what you're seeing on my screen right now it read the widget settings in widgets with id it's a one is not valid an internal error occurred please try again this has been a particular or a common problem among bloggers especially those guys that use blogger to blog just like me and so i'm going to show you today how you can solve this problem just within two or three minutes the code you can impute to solve this problem okay guys so right now i'm going to minimize this i'm going to use my blog to show you guys the blog site of zebra partners to show you guys so this is my email address so the first thing you need to do is for you to log into your blog so i've already to log into your blog just for you to come here then click your blog because my gmail is already open then go look at blog blogger it's loading now when you look at your blogger when you log into your blogger then the next thing you need to do is for you to scroll down to locate team Okay, team. Very open. Okay, just wait for some time. It's gonna open. I don't know my computer is slow this morning, but never mind. Okay, it's already open. Then where you see customize. There's this the drop down arrow there. Click on it. Then the next thing to do is for you to click on edit HTML. Just edit HTML, yes. Click on it. Then the blogger HTML editor is going to open this way. So do not forget we are solving the problem of Google ASIN or ASIN showing error message or internal error on your blog or sometimes you want to impute some code maybe you want to impute your Google ASIN ID or you want to impute a Facebook pixel ID or you want from Pinterest or from Twitter or from any other social media then when you impute it sometimes it shows you this particular message error message on my screen the widget setting a widget with id it's a one it's not valid and internet error occurred please try again so i'm showing you guys today how you can solve this problem it's very easy just within two minutes so right now i am on my uh, edit html blog runner right now so what do you need to do you come here jump to widget Then you locate it's a one. We are doing this for it's a one now, and sometimes when you do for it's a one, it also prompts you to do for it's a two. It's a two. So at the moment, we are doing for it's a one. So you click on it's a one, then it brings you here. So what do you need to do? You put your cursor here, just below here, not the first line, the second line, where it should be your settings. Place your cursor there. Then on your keyboard, you press Enter key. Do not forget this. Press Enter key to give it a space. Then just behind this one here, place your cursor here. Then you hold down your Shift key on your keyboard. Then press less than the less than symbol on your keyboard. The next thing to do is also hold down your Shift key on your keyboard. The exclamation mark then you type your iPhone or your minus sign on your keyboard twice one two that is that for that 
then you come down again just here count one two three four five six seven after this seven line then the eighth line here widget settings here the same thing put your cursor here it's blinking then your two minus sign or your iphone one two then this time around you hold down your control your shift key sorry then you press your greater than sign it is solved and the next thing to do is for you to press save at the moment i will not press save because i've done it before on my blog so i don't need to press save anymore so this video is to show you how you can solve this problem and i'm going to leave the link how to get the code below this video okay so when you're done doing that just click on save okay but the moment like i said i will not click on save because i've done it before so the next thing to do there after clicking on save then you use your back button but in the situation you click on save and this same error shows again maybe showing you ascent 2 this time around it show you ascent 2 it's just for you to repeat to repeat the same process it's very easy guys it's just for you to repeat the same process okay so right now i'm going back now because i'm not going to save Okay, let's hold on. I don't know my system is a little bit slow this morning, but that's okay. So I'm not saving because I've done that before. Can you see you have on save change that will be lost? Okay, because I've done that before, I don't need to save. So that is that for that. When you finish doing that, just for you to refresh your computer. And that's all. Refresh. That's all. So at the moment guys uh, um, i've come to the end of this video and thanks for watching and for staying to the end and also do not forget to like share and subscribe to this channel for more video like this okay so until i come your way next time shalom